Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Amps and today I'm going to show you this uh, ISP programmer. It's called Micro USB Tiny ISP, yeah, and I bought it on AliExpress. <laughs> And here it is. Look how small it is. Yeah, therefore I bought it on AliExpress. But they send it to me disassembled. So the first thing I have to do is to solder these header pins yeah, on it. It's there for connecting a cable. I have to cut it in half. So it's very small, so I have to be patient, yeah. And that's it. And it's going to be like this on the programmer. For soldering, I'm going to use uh, this breadboard, yeah, because then it's easier to solder it. So let's go for it. And here it is, yeah, it looks all right. I'm satisfied with today's soldiering. <laughs> okay, so now let's connect the cable to it. I bought this cable on AliExpress, yeah. It's a six pin cable. And now I'm going to connect it uh, to the programmer like this. I always try to connect the red line to common voltage, yeah. And now I'm going to connect the other end of the cable to Arduino Uno. Yeah. It looks like this when it's all connected. Also the red line yeah connected to the common voltage. And now I'm going to connect an USB cable to the programmer, yeah. And the other end I'm going to connect to my computer, yeah. And when it's connected, it looks like this, yeah. My Arduino Uno prototyping board has started blinking, which is a good sign, yeah. And also the programmer is on, yeah. The red light is on. In device manager, yeah, on Windows 10, it looks like this. After connecting the USB cable to the computer, yeah, it uh, identified a new device, but uh, Windows doesn't have a driver for it. For drivers, uh, you have to go to this uh, website, yeah, and click on download. And after clicking, it starts downloading an installation pack, yeah. After downloading, just click on the installer. You have to agree conditions. You can leave the options like this and then click on the install button. When drivers are installed, close the window. Yeah, and again in device manager. Yeah, as you can see. My programmer is recognized as USB tiny, which is all right. And now I'm supposed to be ready for programming. After opening Arduino IDE, I have to select a programmer, which is USB tiny ISP. Also have to check uh, that I selected Arduino Uno board. And now I'm ready for uploading sketch. When you use programmers, you have to use different upload, which is upload using programmer. Yeah. And wow, 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 what's this? 
Okay, there is some issue with the programmer. Let me check on the internet what's wrong with it. After some googling, I found out that the two switches on the board, yeah, which must be correctly configured. So the first one is this one, which is all right, and it means that uh, you can power devices which are connected to the programmer, and that's what we need. And the second switch, yeah, here, which is also closed, it means when it's closed that you can upgrade a firmware in the programmer, yeah? And that's we don't want, yeah, at the moment. So I have to open this switch and after that it should work. Okay. And now the switch is open, yeah, and it should start working for programming devices connected to this programmer, yeah. Let's test it again, yeah. Again, check the programmer, yeah, which is all right. The board is also all right. And let's upload it, yeah, using upload using programmer. And surprise, surprise, voila, that's it. It's working, yeah, perfect. Such a small thing, yeah, and it started working. Let's have a look at uh, my Arduino Uniboard, yeah, and look at this, yeah. And now it started uploading, yeah. And now the new sketch is there because it started blinking faster. It seems that I've resolved the issue with the programmer. Yeah. If you want to upload sketches uh, the standard way, yeah, after using the programmer, you have to burn back the bootloader, yeah, because when you use external programmers, the bootloader is deleted, yeah. So. Now I burned uh, the bootloader back, yeah, and look at uh, my Arduino Uno board, yeah, the LED is still on, which means there is no sketch uploaded, only the bootloader, yeah. So let's upload back the Blinky sketch, yeah, the standard way, just click on upload, yeah and the sketch should be uploaded and look at now at my Arduino board yeah and it started uploading yeah and the blinking sketch is back this is an important thing you have to realize yeah when you use programmers for uploading sketches you delete bootloader yeah so you have to return it back, yeah, when you start using external programmers. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope that it was useful, yeah, and thank you for watching, and see you next time.